are they going to check this corner? Even if he only gets one kill here, it's not necessarily the worst thing. But look at it! Oh, but he whiffs! New King's going to get himself a freebie. That is a travesty. And, well, they may have got an early warning system. And the rotation is going to come in from Shalabi. But if they can clear him out, they may have an easy round. Yeah, that's going to be a nice third kill for Nukia coming in there, but Chuna into the teleporter for a double. Frost might be able to get something done on the side here and be the saving grace of the team. He's actually gone undetected on the box, but Avova swings around to check it. They know exactly where Chuna is, and G2. So I, I don't think we're going to see G2 stopping. No, they look to just hold W, but the rotates have come in. Anubis of four players on this side as G2 look to push on out. This is going to be a tough one. Nukia creating the space. He's up close. Already able to take one. A second for Nukia. Oh, he spins on a dime for third. How have G2 gotten away with this? They've got the sight. And now, once again, Frost is looking to make that retake happen. One versus three. Sure, they're all on low health, but they've got the numbers advantages in this one. Oh, you nasty man. He's tagged him up through the smoke as well. What a round out of Nukia, man. Had a little bit of a tech pause. That one has gone by. Anubis now stalling out, waiting for something to happen. And they've already given him quite a lot of control on this A site. Mixwell, we always talk about his ability to lurk through science, but he still finds quite a lot of openers for the squad. And yep. Crollo here... Not really sure he's going to be able to get much done trying to swing onto the spike. A bit of a risky play considering no real teammates nearby to help him. The remainder being locked out. These deep smokes that G2 have been putting in just allow these close positions to be held. They've been dominating this site. The fact that they have defensive spawn control as the remainder of the players still try to rotate. I was going to say should make this round very easy for them, but it's actually pretty close. It's through for the next round, and that will be 5-0 to zero for G2. Sure, they lose two players in the end. Even using their stars here. Oh, oh dear. They're clearing it. <laughs> G2 won't be fooled. They won't give away any space, but Shalabi's good for the trade at least. Yeah, the rest of the team have managed to make their way through long, but they've got the deadly duo of Anubis holding down the side, and it's a nice reaction shot. It's suspected at this point. They're watching it, and Frost takes him down. Anubis get their first round on the board, and they have to give Hughes in a really tough position to try and hold on. Actually, Crawlo gets dropped immediately. That's Lamb's control out of their hands. They're going to rotate Shalabi in to try and fight for it, and he's good for a nade kill onto Cold Mensa, but a bit more needed and delivered again and again. Shalabi surprised rises us still holding down that lamps control g2 hunting him looking to really push into oh him completely God, avoiding the viper ult mixwell goes on to juna but chalabi still holding strong this man is keeping the round alive until avova steps in been phenomenal he yes. might be the best pickup for the team i i'm with you on that one except for obviously Menta, my man with the Odin. he makes it work juna Pressure. Again, this Lamb's control keeps going to G2. They're able to consistently grab okay. it, but Frost is destroying them this time around. Nuke it dealt with. Now we need another hero to step up for G2. We've already seen Mixwell do a lot of work. But he's not even, even able to get a foothold over Bathroom. They are double contesting it right now. But in the meanwhile, Avova is actually planting the spike, that cosmic divide, giving them all the space to plant it. And now they don't need to make a move. It's Anubis that have to try to retake ground. Yeah, the drone may at least give them a little bit of extra information. The timing here could be everything. We're going to see the Cosmic Divide, but this actually almost gives that extra space for Kellogg's to play with a round. The timing couldn't be worse, though. It's halfway. He's going to at least be able to hold on to the other side. And as you said, they managed to get the spike halfway, so it has to be a play through it now as they dive past. They're still getting oh! confusing, but Kellogg's comes up with a double, and they close out the round in a split second. They haven't been winning any of them, so it really yeah. hasn't affected G2 in any way, shape, or form. Look at Shalabi, 20 HP. No way he really Still gets away with it. this. <laughs> of course he does, yeah. He's got the Sheriff one-shot headshot, bro. No fear. No all worries at all. But a big problem here, you know, he saw Anubis set up another bait-and-switch play inside of Hookah, but it's not... Whoa! Mixwell doesn't even need a gun. That's just... Look how much control they have. I don't think I've ever seen a team take this much control. He was fighting their spawn with his utility <laughs> and just just like Running trying to aim different like they're, they're still fighting the spawn now they, they, this is desolation it looks like g2 are smurfing with some of these like they, <laughs> the way that they're able to take <laughs> oh, so much control now in this round you want to try and convert this round you know they are hunting after these players right now 
lot of control already going their way with the Viper's Pit. Mixwell is just dominating. The fact that he has Viper's Pit online and he's hunting, that just shows the confidence, doesn't it? Showstopper right on the Cold Amanta. What well, they, they don't know, know Kellogg's has been tagged up by that 19 health remaining, but his position, completely unknown. And as they push forward, do they? Well, maybe it's not completely unknown. Yeah, They're checking it a lot. It. Seem to have some sort of idea that he's in that corner. I respect it. Maybe they saw him, but... Or maybe they saw a piece of utility. It looks like they are going to be trying to hard clear it, I'd hope. But never mind, he still hits the shot. Kellogg's so low, and oh, now it's up to Crawler. I said he hadn't got any kills up until this point. But he's found three in this round. Into the one versus one versus Abova, who has been unstoppable so far. Barely dying in any of these rounds. He has no idea. He's slowly sneaking up behind him. And Abova, he is the rocker being used to try and clear out some of these closer angles. And... Good kill by Frost. Trade. Yeah, I mean, he very nearly stopped Nuki from even shooting off in the first place. Uh, Jalabi taking down Kellogg's through, like I can only say, is about three inches of concrete. Impressive stuff. But there's the TPG2 moving to the other side of the map. But guess who's still here? Mixwell lurking around, trying to make this play through A. Timing is going to be key. Oh, they're going back to A. They're going back to A, Tom. And it's because Mixwell's got all that space completely for free. Anubis already on the B site. But they have no idea that they've just been played. As they start to come back, realizing what's gone down, that it's going to be too late to even stop that spike from being planted. Oh, the utility is so perfect from G2. Oh, I'm enjoying this so much. The screen blocks them from rotating. The dart scans the player in heaven. They have all the information they could possibly need. And the ding is even connected. But Mixwell is still standing. Tuna needs a kill. And his teammate's just too far away. This round from G2. Whoops. Well. That's, uh, that's sped up pretty quickly. Uh, fast rotations. Evidently, something that Anubis are a fan of. They're managing to take over the A site. And by the looks of it, get the spike down. But Nukia's hot on their heels, starting to come up behind. Frost still delivering shot after shot. Nukia dealt with. And Kellogg's is all alone. 1v2. That Viper's wall coming down. And now they've spotted him. They know exactly where he is. And the double peak to close it. It had already... Frost looking to catch some players off. Mixwell now known to be up close. I'm surprised Astral Form is still being used here. That was a big risk, and they're getting all the kills. Anubis okay. overrunning the A site. Cole Dement is going to try his best, but that tag coming out of the shock dart was... You can see Anubis not even wanting... Uh, Mixwell, you're a nasty, nasty man. Let's see what he's going to be able to do with this. That Viper wall up just in time. Oh, They're going to walk disgusting. on through, and it's so easy with the judge this close. And a player trapped. Shalabi's going to be taken down right away. This is a disaster as Mixwell maintains control, gets an upgrade, and watch the wall go down. He's ready to take a fight right after. But he'll ba and there it is. Aves gone, dropped. This is a judge out of Mixwell. Three kills and a double sheriff to close it out. Ridiculous. And really, really in a tough spot right now. Yeah, I... I I have to say, the fact that there was ever a composition on this map, going to love it and hate it at the same time. Well, of course. And look, there we go. Straight away, the trade's in for Aves, but Evova, I don't what? know. He's hit Frost to 10 HP as well. The whole clip. Absolutely ridiculous. Flash out of Aves. He's continuing the push, but the counter flash for Kellogg to be taken. They also have the dart available to hunt for information, but with Nuclear Elevated, it really isn't much of a problem. The Viper left to try and fight it alone in the trade. We're in their face before they even get full control, before they get that plant, and finding a lot of those opening picks. So, solid start from Anubis, much better. Anubis, they're only holding the B site with Cypher Utility. Shall I be able to take the kill onto Mixwell? A valuable frag to have right off the bat. That camera, no longer going to be a problem in covering flanks, and they still have their own cam on the site, ready to catch them as they push back on into B. Retake for Anubis off to a flying start with Zizo making his presence known on this server. And someone needs to step it up with a lot of kills with Avova and Kellogg's left alive. It's still very much possible. Avova even starts it off with the first Kellogg's eating that shock dart and then a bullet right afterwards. This round looks like it might just be done. Yeah, they can defuse. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing he can do to try and fight off this corner and they even had a case. Though it doesn't quite catch Kellogg's. They were hoping someone had already pushed into mid for them to isolate, but now Kellogg's knows there's one up close. Shalabi thinks he's gotten away with a sneaky play, but instead... Toxin screen down. 
deep push coming through. Now they are going to get the information, but the problem is at this stage it really doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, from Anubis at this point, in fact, there's already multiple players watching, even using the Sober Drone late into the round just to make sure that they're clearing every single angle. So there's going to be no extra surprises here for G2. It's just whether or not this can be a little bit costly at least, and for now, it's not looking likely. Yeah, with Cizo so low, although it didn't matter, quick headshot from Nuki to in that direction. Seekers, though, actually thrown out alongside the flash. It leaves Crawler almost completely blind, but the push through only gets him one. Shalabi at the back of the site, though, needs to do an awful lot here with Frost coming into support. They managed to hold it down for now and delayed G2 enough. He's so quick. Shalabi is decision making on point, swapping Ow. over to that rifle, able to close in the distance and hold it down by himself. This is where things can get a little bit dangerous. Oh, well, that was trippy. Mixwell <laughs> able to catch the kill on the frost. Now the site looks to be theirs. They still need to clear out Shalabi, and they know it. Now with a rifle in hand, a little bit less threatening. But he can take on a couple of players. Maybe not. Nukia quickly dispatching him. And the plant will come through. Mixwell still up close. And that's a headshot through the wall. Aves just about surviving it. But how can they get back in at this point? Aves's position is known. And they'll suspect Zizo to be coming through mid any moment. Now there's even a trap wire waiting for him. He either has to jump over the top or trigger it and give away his position. He goes for the ladder. Knowing where Mixwell is, it's the right call to try and isolate that duel to start. But it doesn't look like he's getting anything for his trouble. The time now starting to become an issue. He needs to get a move on quite quickly. And there it is. Now just a 1v1. Nukia on the back side. The final player to try and run this clock down. But the time is just too low at this point. Zizo has no choice but to go and save to the next round. Or to get dropped by Nukia as he attempts to. 2-2. Two to two. D2 gets on the one big threat that they had. Oh, maybe not the only one. But they always hold that early default first and tend to typically find a pick, whether it's in mid or, Ooh, hey, Grolo again, showing up. They've tried to switch their gaze a little bit to at least cover it, but there's going to be so much space taken already. They're going to have spawn control. They can watch. Nice. Mixwell, though, is actually going to get dropped. And now they actually have the neural there. For once, it's going to play a huge part because they know the remaining two players are trying to wrap back around. It's been an unbelievable round from Crollo, but Avova might not be done just yet. Yeah, that's big. Oh, the <laughs> shot dart right on him. That is pinpoint accurate bulls aggression out of Aves, pushing all the way up into their spawn, and Shalabi, another missed op shot, but it might just be made up for here with Aves coming around behind. That's one and an easy second on the follow-up. Great stuff, as he's now going to be able to pop those Seekers, reveal the rest of the players. Abova just goes swinging through it, though. Gets rid of him, at least for now. They can't Abova. find the trap oh, wire? hitting everything. <laughs> Big Swall couldn't find the trap wire. That's uh, an interesting positioning out of Anubis on the utility, but it might not matter yet again. Good shock dart in to deal down but it's a one versus three in the end. Aves having to push one. But there's no opportunities really given past that kind of jumpy angle. There it is. Okay, reload in. Aves, very low on time though. He's got to go now. Rushing forward to try and do this and four kills will not be enough. Great. To the remaining players, but they've used utility to hold them back at least for the moment. They should expect Crollo to be here. Been playing the back side for quite a while. Nuke is showing up on a Guardian and Cold Amanda sneaking through middle. Good to take down Crollo. This is where you're probably thinking about a save. Not with a bullet in your head, you're not. Frost caught lacking, leaving Ziza. Rounds for Kellogg's, which, as you saw sort of mentioned, is such a big map. It's a weapon you want to see played. Right there, you kind of see why. You know, it can bring you so much value in some rounds. And instead, they have tried to use it to bridge the gap of weaponry. Being spotted. Oh, that could be a problem. He's going to be caught at the back of sight. They've got the information that he's there, but can he pull off an absolute miracle shot? What is that coming out from oh. Jalabi? He then pulls the Bladestorm in as well, and he's been picked out of the air from Kellogg's. Somehow, this comes into a 1v1 scenario. A few crazy shots connected, but it all comes down to this. Kellogg's has baited him out! And oh, missed the it. shot! Cizo gets away with it, and Anubis push up to five. The f Chooses his moment to start walking on forward, start closing the distance, but he gets caught. Yeah. Okay, Nuki just walked up mid. He's taking a frag for free. They've got a spike plant coming in, but the numbers are still even. There's still a shot for Anubis to pull this one off. They've got to find a pick. They can't allow G2 to set up in post plants. Especially that they've still got mid control. This is going to allow them to basically gamble that every single player is coming from a similar direction. And even if they have to push through tube, timing is going to be absolutely everything here. And instead, 
I, I think there's just too much information currently available for G2. It's going to be a quick trade. Kellogg's unable to connect, and he actually dashes into the remaining man. Now Nuki's got to try and run all the way back towards the site. They haven't actually tapped the defuse, but this shot is everything. If Shalabi lands, he wins the round, but instead the swing comes in. Abbas still has enough time to get off the defuse and kill his opponent and then defuse the The main issue I've had is just how easily they've been able to just split through mid. Now there has been an adaptation of trying to put Frost in play, but again, the same screen has gone down. So you're going to see this late lurk coming through from Mixwell as they try and take that extra oh. space. They are being caught by every single Piece of Scythe utility though. Somehow Frost has gone down. Zizo just ran through his own Vipe. What? That was absolutely ludicrous. <laughs> he goes through the Viper util. Close. They even popped the Viper's pit. This is almost faking out the paranoia. They're like, oh, maybe we can be shot from a couple different angles. And no, Mixwell's actually covering it. Now has an operator to work with as well. That trap bar is going to be destroyed, but it doesn't matter. Aves still needs to connect the shot afterwards. He's low HP. Mixwell going to be shot and taken down. Pushing into this Viper ultimate, though, is really where the trouble begins. The foothold easily found for G2. And as Anubis walk on into here, look where Avova is. He's up close and just spraying, praying, and consistently just diving in towards that backside. G2 obviously clearing out those angles, making sure no one can swing on him as well as he does it. They've spotted out the players towards spawn as well. Such a mixed bag of a buy for Anubis. Ooh, it's getting a little bit awkward, but Cold Immense is still managing to find the shots. Frost has traded it back into a workable position, but they're just taking so much control once again. Spawn now firmly in the control of G2. They've only really got to worry about this flank as Aves is desperately low, but Cold Immense, he's watching it again. He's had a great round, and now Aves left. On just 21 HP, should have absolutely no chance of winning this, and G trade is quick for Anubis. The site now theirs, and a plant can be found. The numbers, definitely not in their favor. Zizo goes down now, it's a 4 versus 3. G2 looking to mount that retake, and they have got them surrounded. Three players, in fact, or two, as it now stands, looking for the flank, one through mid, and one holding on in the spawn. That's Cold Amenta, who's now going to fire a recon deep. Try to give them the extra control. They've spotted Frost. He won't be able to get anything done. G2 walk out with the pistol on their defense. Giving a plant over, but this timing is going to be perfect for them. Coming up and catching Avova completely off guard. And that's the site. It's completely theirs. They can get the plant yet again with a man advantage now. It looks like this force buy is already showing merit. Yeah, I think Avova just got a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> Assuming they wouldn't push through any of that utility. And it's definitely become a problem for them. Now in terms of ranged weaponry, I was going to say G2 have a fairly big advantage and the swings actually coming out for Anubis are just feeding those extra kills. The remaining players are actually off site, so they just have to hold back here. Knight yes. shot out from Frost. He's actually done a hell of a lot of damage with the pistol. Spin. They're just spinning He's around! Spinning. Surely this isn't going to work! And no, they actually deny the defusal. Oh, it's low. It comes down to one versus one and Krollo's going to land the shot. I'm not quite sure what I've just witnessed, but it's an Anubis. <laughs> That's going to clear out Kellogg's on the back site. He's being pursued. Shalabi's still oh, having oh. a dash to play with, and he's on him. The tags, uh -oh. but Nukia saves the day, keeps his teammate alive. Kellogg's still going to be able to do damage, and there's the operator coming out, saving grace. Having Nukia alive, at least at the start, and now like Anubis at a man disadvantage. <laughs> The amount of oh. things that he's oh, been Frost. caught by. Oh, and he's still alive! Oh, the timing almost works, but again, an instant trade coming out from G2. Zizo still going strong. Krollo has found another, and Avova seems a little bit late to the party. The clock ticking. He needs to get a move on. I'd almost say the rest of the team is a little bit too eager to get in there, not even having their smokes down. That orb still leaving a pretty big gap, and he's going to tap it to start with, baiting Zizo into a fight, but the fight is one but run over that easily this time around. I'm surprised Anubis are still considering going this way. Maybe now it's changing up, though. I'll be, I'll be honest, oh, no. I, I'm, I'm not surprised. Like, why would you not go this way when you've won the battle almost every single round? I like the further aggression coming out from Nuke, giving them a little bit more in terms of options, but they've moved him out of that Viper's pit, at least for the moment. Now he's got... This is going to be an A hit. Camera taken out. Now there's the plan. Just starting now, you're going to see Evova leave that Viper's Pit and start to rotate over. He still has his wall online, so I don't want to see too much movement coming out of G2, but again, they're going forward before he's even anywhere nearby. Looking to force this fight, and luckily this time around, it is working. Aves, you've given away the round now. There's no way he can stop this defuse. 
Even if he killed everyone there, he couldn't get a drone. So now they can't clear him out. And that's that's a massive problem. That's the number one way that you counter. Cold Amanda was in spawn and took that kill easily. Shalabi out immediately. A 4v4, at least, considering how Ooh, things start. No! Oh, no! 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 Delete the mod. Del yeah. Delete it. I don't want to see it again. Luckily, we oh, haven't got Joey here, so we, sh we shouldn't get a slow mo replay of that. Put the plant. 30 seconds left. Using this to almost create a corner where they'll be hidden. Actually, they're going to try and re aggress with this, maybe realizing that it'll be difficult to hold on this site in any other way. Avers, he's going to land that first shot and already Last spots onto the second, but the spike gets dropped. He now has to try and cross back just to give them a chance. He's actually at the back corner as well. I don't even know if he's going to have enough time to cross back over. They're not actually going to peek him, though. So he will have that plant. But instantly, we see that run back around, completely denied by G Drone going through alongside the flashes. Seeker's thrown out as well, but two players almost instantly dropped. In fact, Kellogg's has managed to find another one. Aves needs to be a hero here, and his teammate is way too far away to do anything. A solid hold coming out from G2, starting to see the stars align, and uh, not today. Nope. Sorry, not today. No one home. No one home. Oh, well, I mean, that does work. It does technically tag him up, but... Holding him. Dash not online. Oh, okay. And he's going to be punished. That's a, that's a very good start. Deep flash. He was ready for it. Heard it coming. Swing out for more. Oh, Crawler's getting dangerously close now. He had the opportunity for them to line up. But there's actually still a snake bite available for Avova. He could do a lot of damage if they try an entry into the site. Yeah, he's had a really tough time holding down the site so far. Let's see what answer he's got this time. The first goes his way, but Aves quickly shuts him down. The plant being attempted with 10 seconds left. If Cold Amenta found a kill, he would have had his ulti online, but he gets shut down right afterwards. Plant successful and a great shot returned as Kellogg's falls. Mixwell quickly keeping the numbers even, but they still need to worry about that operator tagging him up. Aves down to 30 HP. The fight for the back lines is going to be where it's decided. Zizo needs to win this one for a Anubis to stay alive here, and he's taken down, leaving it on to Aves. 30 HP and an operator, it will not be enough. 11 rounds. <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter where Kellogg's goes. There's a drone waiting for him. Tag comes in. Hunter's Fury activated. Mixwell in a little bit of trouble. He's being pressured in from middle, but main will not be an issue. Not as Kellogg's holds it down, but Frost quick to react. Bladestorm popped. Kellogg's able to turn for a third, and now it's all on to Shalabi. Backside. The first is his, but three more to go. Shock Dart almost hits him right in the head. He'll close the distance here looking for a kill, but with a Spectre in hand, his chances were slimmed and from quite a deficit right back into the lead. And just in the nick of time as well, Anubis, yet again, Anubis want to hit it, but there's four players ready on the G2 side, and Mixwell's already taking down Aves. Oh, you can see where I am? Cool, I'll just spray you down. And Corda Menta, baby! Let's see how it works. Shock Dart's coming in, Odin spraying away, Anubis in dire straits. That Shock Dart lands right on Shalabi's feet, leaving him on 38 health. Trapped on the site with the spike in hand. His teammates oh. want to help him out, and Zizo will actually catch the mid flank. That's perfect. Exactly They've got a lot of control. Oh no! Crawlo gets completely baited out by the Q. Zizo luckily trading, but Mixwell keeps it alive and closes it out with a classic. Four